Hello, and welcome back inside my toy room. Hey, it's John here, the Vintage Geek, and you're back inside the toy room. We are looking at the Robotech Battle Pod with a bunch of the figures down here. The Zentradi Battle Pod. This thing is freaking awesome, man. It's really cool. Put them in the same uh, cabinet as these other guys here, you know? Thought that would be cool to have them down on the bottom there. But today we're going to be taking a look at the, you know, mask. Thunderhawk. One of the coolest cars ever made. It's a must-have for any mask fan. But first, I want to mention Tony over at Analog Toys. You guys have got to check out Tony's collection, man. And his channel's top-notch. Really respect this guy. This is like, you know, he's got an awesome collection. Does some really incredible videos. Go check him out. Link in the description below. We got the Thunderhawk. And we got both versions of Matt Tracker. Leader of the good guys for Mask. I guess you could say leader of Mask because Mask is the good guys. Venom was the bad guys with Miles Mayhem. The original was here with the short helmet, and then later on they made this long helmet with uh, Series 2 because kids were choking on them. We'll go over those in a second. I'll show you the different helmets and uh, any variations in the character there between Series 1 and Series 2 releases of these. So let's see here. We got Matt Tracker, the Series 1 release. Now this is the one you really want to have if you are a collector of masks. Try to get all your Series 1 guys with short masks. Because that's, that's the way they very... The very first time they came out, that's how they were. Mask is a 6 POA figure. You've got head turning, arms move, legs move, and knees bend. I guess that's 7, right? Never mind. 7 POA? Whatever. I can't count. You know. <laughs> nice jumpsuit. Pretty good detail. The red and gray looks cool. He's got brown straps going around front and back. Same thing with the uh, Series 2 version. I mean, they're pretty much identical in the body. There's really not much difference. I think some of the difference you might see in these two is just wear and tear from time. But uh, the helmets are definitely different. You got the first series helmet here. It's real short. The second series has this long part down below. And you can see that they are... Two different helmets. I mean, the face mask looks almost the same, but the rest of it's kind of different. You know, there's tubules on the side where there's not on the first. There's a big gaping hole in the top. See, kids would choke on the small mask. They get lodged in the throat. So they added all these holes and larger things. So if they did go down there, you could still breathe. And this tube wasn't there. This You see it's not here on this one. So those tubes on the side, they did everything they could to make the helmets a little bit bigger so that maybe you wouldn't swallow them. And if you still managed to swallow them, there were all these holes in them so that you could still breathe with it lodged in your throat while you went to the hospital and got it taken out. The car itself is pretty cool. Right here it's in flying mode. The wheels move freely, really nice. This car could zoom around like the best of them. Has nice little seat belts to keep the guys in, so you could fly around with this thing, go upside down, do all these little loop de loops, and you know guys would stay right in here. And those seat belts really lock in. You got jet engines in the back, mask license plate. Another seat belt over here. This one's locked in for the passenger. Really cool looking front end on this thing. A really nice looking car. You push these these uh weapon the guns up inside the inside the wings slash the doors, and you clip them down. You got to make sure they all click in. The bumper in the back, these things slide in. They come down, and it clicks into position. Again, you got to really make sure it clicks in. Over time, things like that happen. And you've just got to get it in the right position, and they will stay shut. Believe me, it will. <laughs> totally will. I know it. I know it. 
now the other door is popping up and the wings popping up i got everything's releasing on me there we go okay it's all together in vehicle mode now and this thing of course has to go like that yeah there we go sometimes those don't stay up either it's it's proven to be very difficult i've had two or three of these through the last couple years and it, this is the best one i've been able to get so i've kept this one but i still don't have the bombs there's bombs down here that latch in there and uh those bombs are very hard to find unfortunately i've never been able to get one at a reasonable price these uh the engines in the back you push them in you see the levers moving that's what release the bombs for you while you're flying around Push this button here, and boom, the wings pop open. The, the foil on the back pops up, and the engines come out. So it's all ready to take off into action. This is one of the rare mask toys where you can put the guy in the driver's seat, and while it's driving around, you can take off and fly. So things you want to look for on this if you're on the hunt for one is make sure your tires are nice. Oftentimes you will find the tires split. The rubber will be actually ripped right in half. And it's very difficult to find one without the rubber dinged up. You can see I've got a little bit of ding on there. And there's a tiny ding on that wheel over there. You see it there? But it's, it's a lot of times these come with, they are actually cracked all the way through the tire. So you really got to look at your tires when you're checking these out. Look at the chrome on the weapon parts. You can see on mine, it's starting to flake a little bit on this one side. Um, that's another thing with all mask toys. Make sure the chrome is as nice as you can get it. Sometimes, like in this instance, you know, I sacrificed a little bit of the chrome in order to get good wheels. Because, um, like, I got to tell you, 90% of them then online for sale, the wheels are cracked. They're split. The rubber's broken. So you want to get the good wheels first, and then secondly is your chrome. Thirdly, look at all the stickers. That's what I'm pointing out here. Make sure all those stickers are here on the doors, the hood, and on the sides. On the roof, there's three stickers. And then I'll pop this back open here. You can see the mask sticker on the license plate on the back. Got to have all those stickers looking nice. We'll put it up here on the turntable for a little while. Get you a good 360 rotation of the car. But back to those bombs. I've been finding them like 3D printed online. And that's pretty much the only reasonable ones I can find. And me being a completist, I, I don't want to buy retro or reproduction ones. I don't want to buy 3D printed ones. So I'm just holding out until I find some bombs that are original at a reasonable price. Like, just to give you an idea, the car, without the bombs and the condition it's in right here, ran me around $40, $45 US. And the bombs themselves will run $50 to $60 US. So I refuse to pay that price for two little tiny pieces of plastic. <laughs> Normally I wouldn't uh, spotlight a toy that wasn't complete, you know that, but uh, in this case I kind of had to because I... I'm not going to buy 3D printed ones, and I'm not going to spend $50 to $60 on real ones. And besides the fact there's probably only one or two sets of real ones on any of the store, any of the online things like eBay and everything else, you know, right now anyways. So they're that rare. They're that hard to find. Um, so, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that gives you an idea. Well, here he is sitting inside. Matt Tracker is sitting inside with the seatbelt on. And then I'll put the doors down. You can see how he looks in there with the doors down. He looks really good inside the car either way. You know, this he fits very nicely in there. Looks great in both modes. Really cool car. Really cool mask toy. Really great transformations. I highly recommend this one. If you're a fan of Mask, you're definitely going to want this one. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. Just about to get out of here. You know, I've got the Patreon going again. If you want to be a Patreon member, you can join the Action Figure Army. 
I'll have the links in the description below. The action figure army is growing. And uh, you can automatically get like special colors on the Discord server. All kinds of cool stuff. And yeah, yeah. Early videos, exclusive. There's an exclusive room tour. If you want to see the entire collection, it's an hour and 20 minutes long. And that's exclusive to Patreon members only. Otherwise, you know, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for me. Thank you very much. Get all kinds of things from the 60s, 70s, and 80s, all the way up to what came out last week. I'm an avid collector of pretty much everything, especially those toys that I enjoyed when I was a kid. As I, and I'm, you know, I'm trying to rebuild those collections today. All right, guys, I think that's about it. Talk to you later. See you tomorrow. All right, bye bye.